It's a problem and we've got to address it. As the cost of living goes up in the triangle, more people find themselves unsure of where their next meal is going to come from. We're just seeing so many new folks who are experiencing homelessness, who are experiencing hunger. People like Maggie Kane are working every day to help. She opened a restaurant called A Place at the Table back in 2018, a pay what you can model to allow everyone to dine together no matter their means. All of our prices are suggested so people can choose to pay the price. They can pay more and pay it forward. They can pay less. They can pay by volunteering with us. We also feed families for free. Finding power in that concept, she started putting on a larger event a couple of years ago called the Food Truck Rodeo. Everyone is welcome and there's no cash involved. Everyone is using the same currency, a ticket, and no one knows who paid, no one knows who did it. We're all together. We're eating together at community tables. It's just really, really special. Hundreds of people showed up to this year's food truck rodeo in downtown Raleigh Sunday, a much larger turnout than expected. It just shows that this community really cares, really loves it, is excited to be a part of it. Um, we've had tons of people pay it forward online and support it. We spoke with Fedora Castellito, who made it a point to attend on Sunday. It's so important for these events to happen. It not only brings in the community close together and you know meet new people, people that live around us, but it also ignites excitement in places where there is a lot of tension. And though this event helped feed so many and raise money to feed more, the work is not over. But as the problem persists, so do the helpers. It is a community movement. It takes a whole community to make this happen. In downtown Raleigh, Sydney Schofield, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.